Good morning and welcome back to the channel and to this week's video. This week's video is a bit of a follow on from last week's video. Last week you would have saw me, seen me, uh, tidying out the shed here and getting all the tractors in. Now what I wanted to do in last week's video was also give you a little bit of history of the tractors, uh, how they ended up here. Um, and future plans and kind of the jobs that they do. However, it would have made the video far too long. So what I've done is I've split the video up. Last week, as I say, you saw me tidying up and putting the tractors in. This week, I'm gonna go through each of the tractors and give you a little bit of uh, history, etc., etc. So that'll be this week's video. What we'll do is we'll, um, some of the tractors are here. Some of the tractors are in other sheds and places, and there's a few tractors aren't even on the farm. But we'll go through them all, and that'll be the video. So let's get stuck into it. We'll start at the start with the good old 3075. Right, here we go. Starting with the 3075. This is, well, this is my favorite tractor on the farm. And this is a 95 horsepower, roughly around 95 horsepower, uh, and it is a 1994 model. It, why did it come to the farm? Simply because I've always liked the 3000 series and I wanted a 3075 or 3065. This one came up at a local uh, tractor dealers and I thought it's not too bad money and that's how it ended up here. Now, you would have seen uh, this tractor has had a engine rebuild. You would have seen that on the channel. So that was done earlier in the year off the camera. And last year, the Dynashift was also uh, repaired on this tractor. So mechanically, it should be pretty much uh, good to go, I hope. Um, future plans. Well, with the engine Dynashift issues sorted, uh, there's not much more to do with this tractor other than I would like to touch up the paint. So that would be something that would be happening maybe at some stage in the future of this tractor. Don't know, but that would be the one thing. So that is the 3075. Right, 390T, uh, horsepower. But 90 horse, this came to the farm actually in March 2021. And why did it come to the farm? Well, because I always wanted uh, a 300 series tractor. And that one was for sale in uh, a local uh, dealer and picked it up. It wasn't too expensive, so snapped it up and it's a great little tractor. This is dad's favorite tractor. The 390T is, is his tractor. He just loves the 390T. Um, what else can I tell you about it? What jobs does it do? Uh, it mainly used for rowing silage and uh, sometimes cutting silage and we've used it. You've seen it on the channel, carting the soil and things. So that's kind of the jobs that it, uh, it uh, gets used for. Uh, future plans for 390T. I think probably touch up a few of the rust spots. I mean, there's a few little rust spots on the bonnet there, you can see. I wanna try and leave it the way it is, to be quite honest, but it's very hard to touch these things up without having to paint it all. So yeah, so it'll, it'll get that. There's a few little, there's a little bit of rust there as well, as you can see down here, but um, yeah. So a bit of a touch up, bit of a bit of a clean up, but nothing serious for that for that tractor. Next tractor uh, in the row is a good old 590 uh, horsepower. It's about 75 horse that tractor. It's, what is it? It's a 1980 model. And you know that because it has the two doors. And uh, when did it come to the farm? I, this came to the farm in 1999 uh, and it, came to the farm because we only had two tractors. We had the old uh, 35, which is down in the corner, we'll see that in a minute, and we had the other wee uh, FE 35, and we needed a bigger tractor to do the round bales, 
So that's why the uh, good old uh, the good old 590 came. Uh, future plans for the 590? Well, I think, you know, you can see little bits of rust starting to appear. Look up on the cab, just up here. Uh, this door, this door is, before we got it, you know, it's not fitting properly. You can see the gap in it here. Um, so we have a new door for this tractor. We just haven't had a chance to put it on. And that door will be taken away and we'll put a, a better fitting door on. But that's that's the plan for this tractor. But great old tractor, great old workhorse on the workhorse on the farm. Has been on the farm, as I say, since 1990. What did I say it was? 1997 or something. So yeah, great, great tractor. 99, that's when it came. Right, next tractor, uh, just in the row here, because that's where it is is the good old 290. Now you've seen the old 290 on the channel uh, a number of times. Normally we have the ball hitch on it for moving the uh, the cattle trader and things. Um, it's about uh, 80 horse uh, and that has a, a Duncan cab on it. Um, it came here in 2019. It was a friend of the family was selling it and um, I got to find out about it and asked him, you know, what was he looking for? It. He wasn't looking serious money. As these things are now serious money, I, I don't know why, but 290s, 265, if you tried to buy them now, they're just a fortune. I have no idea why that is, but it's just crazy. Um, so, uh, yeah, so I picked it up from him and uh, he was uh, selling it because he was buying a four-wheel drive. This was his main tractor for many years. Um, jobs. <laughs> does very little actually in the farm this tractor you've seen it moving the trailers the hydraulics aren't right on the back of it uh, they don't go fully down so I need to lift the seat off lift the lid off and uh, fix that but a couple of little bits of uh, rust here um, we need to fix the bonnet it really could do with I would love to refurb it and bring it up to look like the 65 the 165 over there um, maybe someday, but for now, it's it's here, and that's the main thing. So, that's the the two ninety. Next tractor in the row is the good old one six five. Now you've seen the one six five in the channel loads of times. Um, well, you saw us rebuilding the engine on it there a few months ago. Uh, great tractor. I actually love the one six five. One of my favourite tractors here. The 165, this is a 1970 model. Uh, it's about 60 horse. It has the big engine in it, the 212 engine, and the flexi cab frame. Came to the farm in around 2012. Uh, and I think from you, maybe there's some old videos of it, but it was in a very sorry state. Oh my God, it was a disaster of a thing. Really should have been the scrap. But anyway, we fixed it up eventually took about five years and uh yeah so it's me and jobs in the farm are it's hay, turning hay on the weed topper or the grass topper um that's uh yeah that's mainly the jobs that the the uh 165 does um future uh projects for this or future plans Probably isn't much, rather than finish the frame, um, the flexi frame, that'll be it. Uh, apart from that, that tractor's the way it is and will stay the way it is. I did note in the back of it that one of the seals is leaking again. It's a disaster trying to keep oil seals in the back cob of that tractor. I don't know why it is, but it is what it is. So yeah, so that's the 165. Next in the row is the little 35 three-cylinder. Now this little tractor, you've seen it on the channel and on behind it actually, in the back there is the uh, sprayer, not sprayer, what do you call that thing? The power hose, power washer. And that's normally what it does. In the summertime, it might have the hay turner on it as well. So it turns a bit of hay and it would cut weeds with the double wheels and the reaper on the steep fields. So that's what we use it for. This is a, I think it's a 19, uh, Oh, what year is this tractor? 1960 something, I'm not quite sure. Um, it came to the farm in around 
66, something like that. This was the second tractor on the farm. And this was the main workhorse on the farm for many, many years. I've said before, that this tractor has probably done more work than all these other tractors put together on this farm. It was the main tractor here from the 60s right through till the uh, late 90s when the 590 came. So future plans for this, not really much. It's probably just gonna stay the way it is. Um, it's not the original cab on it, of course, that's a cab of 135, but uh, we put that on to kind of keep the weather off us before we got any of the other tractors, and that cab's been on there for 25, 30 years. Um, so uh, yeah, it'll probably just stay the way it is. Um, no great plans for that other than as it is. So that's the little D cylinder 35. Right, next one in the shed is the uh, 65. Uh, I don't know what year this tractor is. It's probably around 19, uh, well, it's not the first, it's got the, the 203 engine in it. So it's slightly later model. I think it's uh, around 1960 something. I'm not quite sure. Um, 30 horsepower, sorry, not 30 horsepower, 50 horsepower. Uh, 203 engine, as I said, came to farm around 2000 and uh, 14, I think it was, it came here. Um, the 65 jobs that it does, it doesn't do a wide lot. It, it, uh, one of the main jobs is that it runs this log splitter, and this is kind of what it stays on. Um, this log split, splitter also doubles as a pipe and metal bender. My father uses it with different configurations for bending pipes and metal and different things for fabrication. So it kind of stays on, stays on the back of the 65. Uh, simple reason is one, it's got horrendously bad tires, so it's not great in the field. And two, the, uh, it sticks in gear. So it's not great for driving too far. Three, it's steering is wonky. So it is what it is. Uh, it's the old 65. On it, on it and yeah is what it is so yeah that's the that's the 65 right next tractor on the or in the shed is of course the big girl which is the 6290 uh, this is i think 1999 model uh it's about 100 and oh, what are they, 135 horse 140 horse something like that uh when did it come here? It came to the farm in December 2015, I think it came here. And it replaced the, uh, we had a 3085 here before that. And my father didn't like the 3085. He just, just thought it was dead, so it was lacking in power. And there was a funny, he just never liked it. I, mean, I liked it, we did it up. It was a fantastic tractor, did our job. This tractor came up. Uh, at a local dealer and um, we traded the 3075 in for the 6290. Now, it has been through a bit of uh, paint work. Um, the bonnet was, the uh, paint was done up and it was all painted, the tractor was all painted. And it's funny because you start to work on these tractors, you start to find issues. You start to note corrosion on the mud guards and all sorts of things and you start to it and then you end up, you have the whole tractor in bits. But anyway, Great job, great tractor, fantastic tractor. Um, love the 6290. Probably, yeah, it's the main workhorse on the farm. This one does the slurry, silage, all the big jobs. The 6290 is the tractor for that. So uh, yeah, future plans, not really, just nothing, nothing special for it. Just stay here, doing its job, working. Um, yeah, and that'll be the 6290. Last tractor in the shed. Uh, for now is of course the 6265 I think this is a 2001 model if I'm not mistaken uh, horsepower I think 6265 is about uh, what is it 105 horse something like that just over 100 horse um, same horsepower as the what do you call it 1200 funny enough Came here in July 2022 for the 
For the simple reason is that it had a loader and it came to replace the 698T, which you may have just seen. I can't remember if I slot it into the video or not, but um, 698T had a loader on it and that was our main loader for lifting bales. 698T went offline. We needed something else and something a bit, something a bit more modern. So the uh, 6265 came along. And future plans for this, um, well, nothing really. It's just going to be doing its job. Uh, you know, there's no real plans to do any painting or anything on it. A few little things to fix. You saw the mud guards going on it a couple of weeks ago. So, yeah, so that's that. So that'll, that'll just stay as it is. So that is the tractors in the shed. I actually forgot about this, and I don't know why, because this is the most used vehicle on the farm. This is our old uh, Ranger forklift, which I've said before, is made from a uh, a Ford skid unit. Now, the problem with this is that the I think in the back here somewhere the uh, radiator, not the radiator, the oil cooler is leaking. So this has to come off. This has to come off, and the uh, uh, oil cooler taken out. But this is the most used vehicle on the farm uh came to the farm i have no idea when this came actually i'm gonna say it's here 20 years has to be and uh yeah has definitely earned this keep one of the most used vehicles here if not the most used vehicle right this is uh our little uh fe 35 four cylinder i think this is a 1957 model if I'm right, I'm going down a hole here. Um, driving and operating, it's fully functional. It's just in here out of the out of the weather. Uh, so with 34 horsepower, little four cylinders said, easy start at one. Came to the farm around 1991 from a local second hand dealer. Uh, this tractor should be grey and gold. You can see the the, the gold uh, paint on the uh, on the axles that's not rust by the way but someone has painted it red and red and gold so uh, but it should be grey gold uh, had a stormproof cab on it at one time but that that fell off or blew off in a storm funny enough um, I think I have some old photos of this way back in the day with a cab on it when we were loading dung so I might see if I can stick them in the video um the this tractor came to the farm i think yeah 1991 i said whenever the t20 we'll go look at the little t20 uh whenever it blew up and this this was our second tractor so we had the three cylinder 35 and we had this and these are the only two tractors on the farm my father rebuilt the engine on this great engine this little tractor now um fantastic little tractor easy started very much used little tractor uh has a, puts the double wheels on it and would be used on the uh, again on the slopes with the grass topper or the reaper um cotton weeds etc future plans for this tractor it's probably going to be refurbed uh, it'll go back to uh gray gold eventually um at the minute it's looking a bit pink but i think the 1200 but uh yeah it'll go back to being a, a gray gold tractor when we get the time when we get the time so that's the little uh fe35 right not in the tractor shed but in the shed is the good old three three six nine eight t probably haven't seen a lot of this and that's because it's been in here for the last couple of years getting work on, getting work done um let me spin the camera around Right, 698T. Uh, this one is, I think it's a 1984, if I'm right. About 90 horse. Came to the farm in March 19, I think it came here. Uh, reason for this tractor being purchased was that we needed a tractor to uh, lift bales, and this one had a loader on it. And it initially came to lift and load the bales. Um, 
at the minute. It's, uh, as you can see, it's been refurbed. There's a fair bit of work to get done. The mud guards have just been put on there. You would have seen them maybe in last week's video. Future plans for, uh, for this tractor. Well, once it's fully restored, it's probably not going to have the loader back on it again, I would say. It's probably just going to be more of a, I don't know, show, not so much show tractor, but it'll certainly be semi-retired. It won't do a lot. The bigger tractors will take over from it. The 6265 has a loader on it now, so it'll take over the, the jobs or the roles that this tractor used to have. So yeah, it'll probably get an easy life once it gets all put back together, but um, yeah, it's a 698T. I'll probably do a few separate videos on the rebuild of this, um, simply because, yeah, yeah it's, it's another one for, for, uh, for rebuilding. Um, yeah, so that's the 698T. Right, one tractor that's not on the farm, um, I'll stick up a couple of pictures of it, is the 168. The 168 is off, uh, it's to say it's out on loan at the moment. Uh, a friend of the family has it and he's using it to lift a few round bales for the sheep. So it's off up there on, in his place. Uh, came to the farm, I think about three, four years ago. It's a tractor I've known pretty much all my life. Uh, I used to drive it 30 years ago, and uh, the farmer who had it is a local farmer. He retired, and uh, the 168 was one of the tractors that he no longer wanted. Um, I said, of course, I'll take it. It's A, a Massey, and uh, B, it's a tractor I've known, as I say, 30 plus years. I used to cart silage in it years ago with a, a tandem axle uh, Fraser trailer. So I have the 168, it has the rigid cab as you can see from the pictures that I've hopefully managed to insert. And I don't have the doors, the doors are missing. I never, we never were able to find them. They were taken off years ago and never put on. Uh, future plans for it, it's probably just going to stay as it is. I don't have any plans to refurb it. It's in its work clothes. It's got the big tires on it, that's his history. It came from his farm like that, and that's the way it'll stay. I don't plan to uh, do much with it. So that is the uh, 168. Right, the other tractor that's not on the farm, and uh, I'll insert some pictures of it here, hopefully, is a 1963 Nutfield. And these tractors were built from 1961 to 1963, and it's about 60 horse, 60 horse, no, 60 horse. Uh, this is my brother-in-law's tractor, and this tractor, again, I'll hopefully be able to insert some photos, was pretty rough when it came to the farm. It lay out for years, and when it came, the engine was seized, and the whole bunch of things was wrong with it. But uh, my father and him fixed it up, and they have it running and they have it in fantastic condition now, as you can see from the photos. The uh, cab was removed uh, way back by us and it was never put back on again and it won't be put back on. Um, jobs around the farm really doesn't do an awful lot. It's, if you like, retired. Very light jobs, maybe with a link box on it or something, but nothing strenuous for that tractor. It uh, has a, an easy life. It's not on the farm at the moment, it's kind of been stored off the farm until we get the shed up. Now with the space for it, it'll probably come back. It might go into his garage, I don't know. Uh, future plans, nothing really for it. It's been refurbed, it's been done, it's been done up. Uh, it'll probably end up in a few shows um, and tractor runs and things, and that's it. So that's an upfield uh, 10 or 460. Right. Uh, Last two tractors, or one and a half tractors, I guess, are these two, uh, two little TE20s. Um, this one you have seen before in a video where we talked about it, but it's a 1949, I think, model. Um, yeah, 1949, this tractor is. 
and it came to uh, the farm way back in, I think, 1963 or 64. I can't remember exactly what my dad said before, but 63, 64 came to the farm. And uh, it's only 100 or 100, it's 20, I think it's 25 horse it was. Uh, I talked about before how it had a TVO engine in it originally, and then he changed it to a diesel engine and then changed it again, and then the engine blew up. And this is blew up about 30 years ago and it's been like that ever since now future plans for this are to put a uh another engine in it another diesel engine in it and refurb it get it back to gray because it's been painted red as you see so uh yeah that is the plan for this tractor don't know when it's going to happen but this little tractor will definitely be getting some tlc hopefully soon and uh that'll be that Last tractor on the farm is uh, this TE20, 1953 or 54 model, I think this is. It's also a, sorry, it's a TVO model. Um, and it came to the farm, uh, well, when did it come to the farm? It came to the farm about... Three, four years, no, a wee bit longer actually. Came to farm in 2013, actually. Um, so yeah, a bit longer than I thought. And this came from a local uh, local farmer who, uh, who had retired, as he'd since deceased, and his family um, uh, sold it off. So uh, yeah, little uh, TVO uh, T20. And again, the big 25 five horsepower, whatever it is, they're not, I mean, they're, they're not, they're not very big. Future plans for this is to probably leave it as it is. Uh, we'll probably fix up the Reaper over here, but the tractor itself will probably stay the way it is. Not, didn't plan on painting it. Um, maybe put a lacquer on it just to keep it from rusting or something like that. But that was the plan for this one. So that's the last uh, tractor on the farm. Right folks, that is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed seeing the tractors, uh, getting a little bit of history of the tractors and a little, a little bit of an idea of the tractors that uh, uh, what the future plans are. As you know, the uh, good old 1200 is not on the list here because it's off getting uh, repaired. Uh, don't have any further update on that. Um, when I do, I'll of course let you guys know. Uh, so that's the only one that didn't make it onto the list here, simply because I'll just do a separate video on that. So that's it. So that's it for this week. Um, thank you for watching. Um, thank you for those who have uh, liked and subscribed. If you're enjoying the channel, give me a good old thumbs up. And that's it. So uh, yeah, see you later. Take care. Bye-bye.